Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an Apple Watch Series 4 stuck on recovery mode, came from another repair shop and this intro will be a quick one because we will need to do diagnostics and find out what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to remove the strip to show you that they already removed the cover that hides the 6-pin connector. So my conclusion that they already tried to mess with the connector or they already tried to restore it. So now let's go and find out what is the error or what can be the problem. Here we are on our PC, connecting my camera to focus on the behavior of the watch while restoring. Connecting the watch, and today I'm using my Magic AWRT for connection, and for the IPSW I'm using the 9.1 watchOS version. So this video is uploaded, the IPSW will be of course unsigned, so please use the signed one. If you have the one from like official Apple, not password protected or modified, you should get no error on any platform that supports restoring the watches, of course, like software errors, like the file is damaged or something. But yeah, today I'm using my three tools, Magic AWRT, and let me just talk a little bit about a couple of errors that could you that, that could face you while restoring, like the 3149. 3149, that means that the file or the watchOS version is unsigned by Apple. I get a lot of messages asking me what is the problem with this error. So yeah, here we go. Error 40, uh, 40, uh, 13 could pop up for a lot of reason, battery, display, Worst case scenario is NAND, also trying to restore with uh, DFU, maybe could help. But now you can see that we are stuck on updating Stockholm a couple of times and we get an error 56 or 53 in which is connected to the Stockholm, aka NFC. So now we'll be going under the microscope so we can see what is waiting for us in this uh, repair. Uh, yeah, remove the watch and just go under the microscope. So before you start opening the device, it's good to check your Apple Watch condition. In my case, the watch clearly was opened. You can see the glue between the screen and the housing, which is not typical when you check an unopened Apple Watch under the microscope. So something is definitely waiting for me inside. And here is the screen after the teardown, and you can see it's already been opened. <coughs> I'm not sure uh, why for now, but maybe they wanted to check where is the problem, but not sure if it was in another repair shop before me immediately. Uh, so, the first thing uh, to check is obviously the NFC, which is located on the screen. It's soldered with points for the antenna for the NFC. And because of our problem is in the Stockholm, which is basically the NFC, we need to check that first. And everything seems to be okay with the NFC, well, from the connector side. Uh, we can predict what is going on, or we cannot predict what is going on inside the bracket, which is where the NFC chip is located. So, now we just let's jump to the flex, and you can immediately see that. Uh, there's a small scratch on the flex itself. Uh, let's double the zoom and see if uh, if we could have a disconnection or something. But again, everything seems to be connected with the uh, root of the flex. Maybe those small bronze pads from the flex are connected with each other after the scratch. Uh, so we'll make sure that it's clean and there's no connection between the pads with each other. And after that, I will be testing another NFC to understand where is the problem. Uh, is it in the flex or in the NFC chip itself? So here's uh, another NFC chip that will be connecting to the Apple Watch. Please make sure it's connected till the end of the flux and make sure, uh, the flex, sorry, <laughs> make sure that you have uh, the right NFC model for the right watch model. You cannot connect GPS NFC to LT Apple Watch and the other way goes the same. Uh, so we will be connecting and then try to restore the watch again and see if we will get the same error or not, which is the error uh, 56 updating Stockholm. Just connect the NFC good. As you've seen right now, with the two sides of the flex till the end, just lock it and you're good to go. So now I'll be speed forwarding the second restoring process with another NFC. I had a lot of those problems, you know, NFC problems before. Uh, with different models, 99% of the problems is in the flex or the NFC itself. Uh, those both needs to be checked very well. Uh, also had a case with a shorted uh, cap in the NFC closure itself on an Apple Watch Series 3, I guess, uh, 42 millimeters GPS, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I removed the shield uh, that covers uh, all the elements and the NFC chip and checked the cap that was shorted. I mean, losing the original NFC means no Apple Pay for you or for your watch anymore, basically. So if another NFC is working, then you need to check the original one before just like changing the NFC. If not, then just check the flex. 
So you can see that updating Stockholm has been completed. So that means that the, another NFC chip is working. Now let's go back again under the microscope. Now after we check that the problem is not in the flex, we will go and see if the watch can turn on uh, without the original NFC or not, with the original NFC or not. Uh, this is a trick you can also use to understand if it's a problem with the NFC or the connection, if the watch is still boot looping or that the connection with the original NFC, that means that the NFC is shorted or it's a problem with the NFC itself. Uh, if not, then it's probably a connection problem between the flex and the NFC. Because the watch without NFC chip, it's not necessary to be original, can make the watch boot looping and giving the error 56 while restoring. So let's put everything together, turn on the device and see if the watch turns on. Then we just need to restore and just check again. Lock again, and let's go again. Now I will be connecting the watch to our dongle, but uh, before we start restoring, Let's check the watch, uh, if the watch turns on with the original NFC. Uh, if yes, then as I mentioned, we will need to restore again or just update the watch again in order to update the uh, Stockholm, which is the NFC data. And then we will have the watch full restored with the original NFC ready to be activated and of course used with Apple Pay. And you can see that the watch turns on, turned on with the original NFC. Now let's just uh, connect again. I'm just showing you that the watch is on the activation status and just go and restore. So final restore. Restoring the watch right now. I'm just pre-forwarding everything. <laughs> I forgot to watch. Uh, show it on the screen for the progress bar. But you can see that the updating uh, Stockholm has been completed and everything seems to be okay with our three tools. Showing with the logs and that means that I think the restore is finished, yes, the restore is finished, that means that we solved, maybe we solved our problem, we're still waiting for the activation screen and the booting with the original NFC, the watch for the, uh, to boot with the original NFC. You can see the Apple logo, I'm just gonna uh, wait this with the original NFC, just gonna wait for the watch to boot up, and I think that uh, now we're gonna see the progress uh, ring for the uh, entering first time the system after the restore. So I think everything seems to be okay because before we just connected the original NFC up to that. That means that we had a problem with the connection. Just gonna speed forward and I think everything seems to be okay with the activation screen. Yes, come on. Yes, we have the activation screen. Yes, yeah, we solved the problem. NFC is working, we're joining NFC, and everything seems okay. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. And happy New Year, guys. And catch you guys next year.